winter in Geneva, Switzerland. That's where we'll bring you today, giving you our best things to do in Geneva in winter on a budget. Switzerland is known for being so expensive and as such we set ourselves the goal of doing it on a budget as far as possible. By the end of the video you will know exactly how much we spent for our 4 days in Geneva. First, when you land at Geneva airport one great tip is that the airport offers you a free ticket for 80 minutes around the city. Do collect your baggage first before getting the ticket to avoid time wastage of the 80 minutes. Speaking of baggage, here's what happened to ours. Yes, this thing is gone. It's come out at any minute. Sadly broken, but still manageable. We took the train to the city center, which is just a 10 to 15 minute ride away from the airport, and then took a bus afterwards to get to our accommodation. So we were within our 80 minutes, and hence we didn't pay for any transport. For accommodation, it's already cheaper to go in winter due to the low demand, but if you want the cheapest option, Airbnbs will be the way to go. We had an Airbnb room for around 60 USD per night for 3 nights. It was slightly out of the city but still near. This is Margot by the way, the house cat who had an unexplainable love for our broken luggage. Mm. This is our first day in Geneva. Right now we're going out for dinner. So we're just gonna go out and explore. But everything here is so expensive. We're just gonna go out and see what we can have for dinner at a reasonable price. We found this pizza place called San Marco. The pizza appeased to our tongues, but definitely not our wallets. It was 20 euros for a regular sized pizza which we thought of sharing because we did not want to burst our budget. Hence, the decision moving forward was to buy groceries and eat some simple breakfast and lunch at home and then only indulge on dinner outside to control the monetary damages. Quick tip on currency in Switzerland, they actually use the Swiss franc and the rate from euro to Swiss franc is roughly 1 to 1.06. You can use euros in Geneva but note that most businesses will only treat it as a 1 to 1 exchange thus leaving you at a small loss. They will normally give you back the change in Swiss franc. This is our second day in Geneva. It's around 5 degrees Celsius outside. Well, update on grocery shopping. I bought 15 euros worth of grocery shopping and that can last us at least 4 meals. 2 breakfast and 2 lunches. Hmm, pretty good. Compared to our last night's dinner, which was 1 pizza for 19 euros. Wow, crazy. On day two, we went out exploring, starting from Parc de la Grange as we were staying nearby there. It's perfect for a morning walk or jog. It's one of the finest parks in Geneva, well kept and maintained, where you can breathe in some fresh air and enjoy the warm sun rays in the most peaceful environment. Best part is, the park leads right onto the huge Geneva lake where the views are fantastic. It's definitely a must to stroll around the lake by the boats and playing around with the swans and some of them can be quite cheeky sometimes. So happy, yeah? Yay! <laughs> Ultimately, walking around the lake will lead you to the iconic Geneva water fountain which sits right in the middle of the bay. This is one of the best things to do in Geneva. It's a giant water jet. Look how high it pees. <laughs> it's truly impressive. If the sun is out, you might possibly see a rainbow forming in the waters. For us, we were lucky. We spotted two on our visit. We definitely had to take a picture with that. We went there during the day, but sunset would have been much better in my opinion. After that, we set sail across the river on the water taxi which comes and goes every 10 minutes and it costs only 3 Swiss francs per pax to go across. It's a short ride, but we enjoyed it. It's always fun to go on a boat ride anyway. 
by the way, this week we are launching our free ebook on 101 tips to make you a more knowledgeable traveler and also a free video training series. If you want to have access to that, check out the link in the description box. And if you're new to this channel, do consider subscribing if you want more travel tips and guides to different parts of the world. Click the bell notification icon to be updated on all of our videos. Once on the other side, our main destination was to go to Bendepaki, which is an outdoor bath, but on the way there, we saw the most amazing thing ever. A colony of seagulls being fed by two young guys, and they even gave us some bread to toss to them. <laughs> okay, no problem. Stick. It was so much fun. <laughs> 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 It was the first time we were up close with birds flying all around us and personally for me this was the highlight of my Geneva trip. It was simple but yet bringing so much joy and laughter. We then made our way to Benipaki. What do they have there? Well they have hammam, Turkish baths, saunas and different kinds of baths. And since we love public baths in Japan we decided to check it out. Only difference with Japan we found out later is that the baths are open to both sexes, male and female. It was weird in a way as this was our first time experiencing this, but you know, once you mingle with the people who are behaving the same way as you are, you get the hang of it. Thing about outdoor baths in winter, you will get so cold when you strip naked but you will really enjoy the steam and baths. But the best part was we got free entrances to the place. Usually it will cost 13 or 20 Swiss francs depending on the days but the guy at the front desk said it's on the house since we were on our honeymoon. We were like wow. People in Switzerland are very kind and helpful. There were many times where people approached us asking us if we needed any help on their own accord. We've never seen this anywhere else before. After the bath we highly recommend getting some warm delicious cheese fondue at Buvette des Bains which is right next to the bath. Not only it's the best thing to have in winter, but you can also enjoy a nice view of the lake. Nothing beats that. On day two after lunch, we took the tram down to Riverside at Rue de la Croix d'Or for some shopping as I needed a new pair of boots. The boots were around 49 Swiss francs from this shop called Dozenbach or Dozenbach, I don't really know how to pronounce that. We roam around the flea markets and also some shopping places before heading off to another must thing to do in Geneva in winter and that is Christmas market at Bastion. It's held in the compound of the University of Geneva and it was one of the best Christmas markets we've been to in Europe. That was mainly because it was more of a park setting and the environment was all different with festive hanging lights from the trees, wooden chairs and tables, and the cute wooden built shops. One famous thing to eat there is the yummy Swiss raclette cheese. We absolutely love the melting cheese over the boiled potatoes. Oh my god. Just take note that in 2020 they will be changing the address of the Christmas market. Do check that out on Google before heading there. Well that was the last night in Geneva and we did not do much on the fourth day except getting ready to move to our next destination. In the end we spent a total of $42 on groceries. $80 on eating out, $52 on transport, $53 on shopping and miscellaneous stuffs. That would total up to 227 USD excluding accommodation. With accommodation it is roughly around $400 for 4 days 3 nights. 
and that's why we kept the Geneva trip short. But we did enjoy the Swiss beauty very much, even though on a budget. Do comment down below any other cheap things that you did when in Geneva in winter, and definitely this will help others. See you in the next video. Goodbye.